So the first thing you need is a really good shampoo and conditioner. Everyone's hair type and texture is completely different. Even if you have locks, your locks aren't the same as someone else's. So the way that your hair reacts to one product is not going to be the same as someone else's hair reacts to a different product. So I finally found one that I really want to share with you guys. This one is the Hydrate and Defrizz brand Kukui Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Hawaiian Kukui Nut Oil, which is what is in this stuff, is good for its humidity resistant abilities and creates a shimmering gloss to smooth texture and repel humidity, making every day a good hair day. This has definitely kind of smoothed out my locks and has definitely reduced a lot of that frizz. My hair is not nearly as poofy and tarantula looking <laughs> as it usually is when I haven't had a retwist. So I will definitely recommend this um, for people who have kind of, you know, a looser hair texture or even a coarser hair texture. This stuff is really good and moisturizing. So then you want to just follow that up with the same conditioner of the same brand, the Kukui Oil Conditioner. And all you have to do with this is just put it in your hand and when your hair is still damp, you know, smooth it in. You can even do a deep conditioner with this and put the plastic cap over your head, sit under the dryer or just like, you know, nature's natural heating element <laughs> get your hair together so definitely recommend this brand and you can find it at any beauty supply store i found it at sally's um and it's about six to seven dollars i've seen it for less probably about like five nine nine six dollars just depends on where you go but it's definitely worth every penny of it it's kind of cold outside that takes a toll on your whole body as a whole so everything is dry kind of brittle you have to stay moisturized and make sure everything is hydrated i like to follow up my conditioner with a hair mask and this one that i like to use is the shea moisture brand raw shea butter deep treatment mask it's amazing and it's actually really light on your hair um, a lot of people I always tell people with locks, you know, not to use a lot of cream based products or things that are kind of heavy because it can lead to a lot of buildup and it's hard to wash out. But this one is kind of like a souffle, I would say. This stuff is really good. It's got kind of a light whipped kind of texture, um, goes on really easily and um, it kind of absorbs into your hair. So you're not going to be left with all that white residue and everything like that. Again, you can do it as a deep conditioner treatment, leave the mask on about five to 10 minutes, let it work its magic in your hair, rinse it back out, and you're good to go. So after you've locked all that moisture into your hair, you know, you wanna make sure it stays there. So just to add a little bit, you kind of washed out all the extra residue. I like to follow up with an oil moisturizer. This is something I use in my daily hair routine. This is actually the Cantu brand shea butter. I was using this when I was a loose natural person and I had like a fro and texturizer and stuff like that. And this helped keep my hair really hydrated, kept it looking, you know, kind of gave it that little bit of that wet look, but without it being drippy and greasy and things like that. And it's got shea butter in it as well. No hair regimen would be complete if you didn't have that good old coconut oil. We all know what this is used for. Got man problems? Coconut oil. You hungry? Make some coconut oil. Maybe not that one. But y'all know what I mean. Coconut oil, it's really good. It's a great sealant. And I was doing this wrong for a good little minute. You know, you wash your hair, then you put the oil on it, then you put your moisturizer on it. No, that's actually the wrong way. You know, your moisturizer is going to kind of just sit on top. It's not going to penetrate your hair because you got the oil on it. The oil coats your hair and it keeps everything in, keeps things from getting out as well. So you want to moisturize your hair first, then you want to put the oil on top and that really seals it up. I tend to get a little bit of a dry scalp. This I like to use is the Jamaican Mango and Lime No More Itch Grow Spray. Um, and this one is mentholated. So it gives my scalp a nice tingly feeling. Um, that's how I know it's working. And it literally stops my hair from itching. So now I'll just kind of like separate my hair, go through. Give it a little spritz and then just kind of like work it in. So just work it in from your roots all the way down to your tips and you're good to go. So when I wash my hair, I have to dry it. And drying is a very long process. No one likes sitting under a hair dryer. So a great alternative is this thing. This is the Golden Hot Jet Bonnet Dryer Attachment. I was so happy I didn't have to sit under the hooded dryer no more. At least when I do my hair myself, I didn't have to do that. And it cut my drying time in half. It is literally just a plastic bonnet with a hose attachment. 
So the plastic bonnet is this. Um, don't worry if it doesn't fit on your head because it's gonna expand. So this is the bonnet part. You literally put this on your head like you would a dryer, just like that. And then this end right here connects to the end of your blow dryer. All you need is a blow dryer. It doesn't matter what brand, doesn't matter you know what style it is, how big the nozzle is on the end. This is expandable and it's got um, you know, it's got a stretchy cover on the end, elastic, it's got an elastic cover on the end, so it's gonna form fit and it stays on really well. Usually when I dry my hair with a hooded dryer, I'm sitting under there about an hour and a half or so. With this, I'm kind of sitting under the dryer, it took at least 30 minutes off, so I'm sitting there at least 45 to 50 minutes, tops. And my hair is usually completely dry by the time I finish using it. I got this for $6. Can't go wrong with that. So, something that I recently discovered is that to further cut my drying time in half, it helps to have my hair kind of up. So if you have your hair kind of like up, already kind of working with gravity, you're going to be just fine. <laughs> my sister gave me these. These big old, old school rollers. And <laughs> I must say, they've come in handy. I have two sides. I have this pink size and I have this yellow size. I literally take my hair. I roll it under, put the clip on top, and you know, it is what it is. But when I tell you it works really well, I put these all throughout my hair. Um, and I have about 20 of them, about 20 of them, and that covers my whole head. Sit under that bonnet dryer unit, and my hair's kind of like up. And it made my dryer time 40 minutes instead of about 50. So that's my update on how I take care of my hair, how I wash it, and how I, you know, just kind of manage everything with it. Let me know how you guys take care of yours. And, you know, if there's anything else you guys want to know, let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. I'll have a new video for you guys later this week. And thank you for watching. Until the next time, peace out.